Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and I'm doing something very exciting today. I just got this big box <laughs> delivered to my house. Um, I know what this is. I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. I've been waiting to get this and I'm super excited. So this is kind of an, uh, an unboxing and also a first impression reviews because it is my first time uh, actually messing with one of these and I'm just super excited. So we're just gonna get right into it. Um, as far as the packaging goes, uh, it's not great. The tape is not great on this. A lot of this, it's like the tape is coming off. This is just how it was delivered to my house just now. So I know what's inside should probably not suffer from that, but I'm still kind of concerned that the condition of the box and the tape overall, uh, but hopefully, uh, like I said, I know what's inside and it shouldn't be affected by this. So, set that aside. Hopefully this is facing the right way when I open it. I think it's upside down. <laughs> Let's flip it so you guys can see what this is. I'm so excited, guys. I'm, so, I, I'm like giddy. I've actually been doing like a little dance all day waiting on this. Check this out. God, I'm so excited about this. This is the Trick or Treat Studios life-size Gremlin puppet the evil gremlin puppet this is so cool i can't wait my goodness this thing is so big and hey i got a, a coupon for 10 percent off my next purchase and uh, some cross sells there that's pretty cool let's set this guy down let's get this guy open. this is a good weight so if you don't know what this is this has been out for a couple of years now i think this has been out for about three years or so now at this point, at the time of this recording, it's uh, August 2020. So I think this has been around for about two, three years, if I'm not mistaken. And what this is, is there is a sculptor that got their hands on an original movie use gremlin puppet. And so they sculpted this one side by side with that one. So this is a perfect replica of the screen use puppets. So it's, it's, the, same, it's the actual size that the gremlin puppet should be and this thing is absolutely stunning my goodness look at this guys this is i don't know this is about two feet tall or so uh, i don't have anything to measure with so i'm just kind of guesstimating it's got good weight to it and just look at the details on this guys i have to cut these off and obviously i'm going to do this off camera because i want to be very careful how i cut that off so uh that might kind of kill the effect a little bit just having that hanging there but um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Um, actually, I have my cutters here. I can probably just do that right now and cut these off like that. And then this other piece should probably just come off on the inside of the face. I'll check that out. So uh, the everything is latex. The legs are hollow. So this guy's probably, you know, I can probably lean him up against stuff like that and he'll stand there. Um, but I'm probably gonna wanna get like a doll stand a big size one so that I can actually stand them up in places and whatnot. Uh, but the legs are, are kind of hollow, so they're just gonna kind of hang there and do that. Now there is wire inside of the arms. So there is a little bit of an armature here. You can fold these up a little bit and, you know, to a, to a certain degree, they're not perfectly posable, but there is some wire inside of these so you can actually, you know, kind of get some poses out of them. And the uh, same thing with the ears. The ears also have wires in them. So you can kind of move them around and kind of get them the way you want to get them. But he's kind of really kind of where I want him now. So now there is an opening around the back here. So let me check this out. And there is, so you open them up on the back and there is some foam there to kind of hold the chest in, uh, in proper shape and whatnot. And I have no idea what this is going to be like. It's probably going to be tight for me. Being that I'm a big guy and it's also uh, brand new. He has been in a uh, in a UPS truck all day, so <laughs> hopefully he's a little soft. All right, I got my hand in there, and I wonder if I can reach this corner here. I sure can, and get that out of there. I can feel it. If I can just get the pinch on it, I can get that little. There it is. It's gone now. So I can feel the wires for the ears are up in here. So I don't think that I can actually like, I can actually manipulate the, the ears a little bit. I don't, you're not really, it's not meant to like, 
you can control the ears, but you can manipulate them some, as you can see. So that's that's kind of cool. And then there's the actual hand. And see, it's it's not easy to move your hand around in there. Then again, I may just need to learn how to use it. But uh, <laughs> there it is, guys. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yes, ma. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. Halloween is going to be so much fun with this. Oh, this is so cool. So, oh, this is really, really cool. I've been waiting on this for quite a long time and I'm super giddy about it. This is very exciting. So yeah, he can, uh, you can move the, the head back and forth a little bit and you can actually turn just a little bit, not too much. And of course you got the mouth movement, so you can do, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to have to work on my voice with him. Happy Halloween. <laughs> That's cool. Look at the detail on this, guys. This is really, really cool. This is just absolute movie quality. Look at the cloths on this. Look at the paint job. All the texture on them, all the little scales and everything. The little tail around the back. This is just so cool. Although I've got my NECA Gremlins up here on my video game shelves. And uh, I've, I've just always wanted an actual life-size Gremlin. And I finally got one. So this is really exciting. So just make sure, you know, you don't feed them after midnight, don't get them wet, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is just too cool. All right, quick video for you guys there. I just wanted to kind of show this off uh, and just kind of uh, unbox it, open it here with you guys and kind of give you a quick first impression review. I am super excited about this. Uh, this is so, so cool. And I am gonna have a lot of fun with this uh, when my wife and my uh, younger kids get home. <laughs> So uh, just remember if your uh, AC goes on the fritz or your uh, um, VHS stops playing, before you call the repairman, uh, make sure you turn on all the lights, uh, look under all the beds, look in all the cupboards, and uh, you never know, you might just have a gremlin in your house. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yes, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's enough, guys. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.